The school's issue even weighing in on liberals all the way out west in Hollywood. Bill Maher questioning the current trend to revise history through our modern lens. Well, you can get creative with a novel, a TV show, or a movie, but history books, that's not supposed to be fan fiction. How we teach our kids history has become a big controversy these days. He is also weighing in on parental consent. Let's bring in Ian Pryor, former uh, principal deputy director of public affairs at the Justice Department under President Trump and senior advisor for America First Legal. Ian, great to have you here. So what do you think? Uh, is this me. driving the vote for some uh, liberals out there who just don't like what they're hearing is happening in the classrooms? I, I really do think so. And when I hear Bill Maher speak on these issues, I'm hearing a lot of the same things that I heard from some of the very people that helped get Glenn Youngkin elected in Virginia. These are people that are Democrats. Um, they've been Democrats their whole lives. I'm sure if I had a, you know, a conversation with them on a host of issues, we would disagree on those issues. But when it comes to you know, this trend towards wokeness, how schools are, are handling it, how schools are trying to indoctrinate children and push parents out, there is a lot of agreement between, you know, traditional Democrats, classical liberals, conservatives, and independents. And I really do think that's one of the things that put Governor Yunkin over the top last November. You know, Mark went so far, Ian, is to say that he believes that these woke policies could drive some liberals toward President Trump or some candidates that he has thrown his support behind. This, this is what Mar said that some parents are concerned about. Listen here. I know people who say, I have kids. And I don't like it when they come home and say, uh, they divided the class today into oppressors and oppressed. And if I change my sex, I don't have to tell my parents. Yeah. There's <laughs> like that going on. So this idea of keeping sex education, a sexual preference, gender preference, uh, away from parents is really locking them out of the whole decision-making process with their own children. This was a big motivator in the election last year there in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Do you believe it will be a big motivator this fall as well. Yeah, I really do think so. I mean, if, I don't know if you saw the recent New York Times poll, but it said 70 percent of those surveyed said that, you know, education about sexual orientation and gender identity should not be in elementary schools. You know, I saw a tweet recently over the weekend about what Governor Yunkin did in Virginia, and the tweet said, well, you know, there's 133 counties in Virginia, and there's, you know, trans kids in all counties. Well, there's also parents, and there's more parents, and there's lots of parents. And if you're shutting parents out of these decisions that could have life-altering effects for their children from a mental, emotional, and physical standpoint down the road, you're going to have very motivated voters, and you're seeing that across the country. What happened in Virginia last year has really spread throughout America, yeah. and wherever you are, red state, blue state, it doesn't matter. It's happening. And Bill Maher really seems to be giving a big voice to this. Here's more from Maher. Portland Public Schools has a plan now to teach kids that the idea of gender being mainly binary, was brought here by white colonizers. The curriculum guide says, when the United States was colonized by white settlers, their views around gender were forced upon the people already living here. <gasps> Not even Star Trek would try that story. <laughs> Pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, look, he, what he is doing is he's speaking to common sense. You know, it's funny. You talk to conservatives who never would have watched Bill Maher three years ago or two years ago, but it's actually pretty entertaining because he is talking about common sense and some of the insane things that we are seeing in America right now. And he's speaking from a liberal perspective. So if Bill Maher is out there, someone, again, who, you know, you wouldn't even call him a moderate Democrat. He is a true liberal. If he has an issue with that, what do you think parents throughout the country are thinking when they're sending their kids to school looking at this and looking at what they're coming home saying every day. All right, Ian, we'll keep watching this and see how much of an issue it's going to be as we head toward November the 8th. Always good to see you. Thanks Thank for you, joining Ian. us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.